Hi everyone, my name is Courtney Ferguson. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is basically just another part of my makeup collection that feels like it's going to take forever. So instead of having a long introduction, we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, let's go. Alrighty guys, I'm trying this a little bit different. I've got a little stand and so that way I can have my hands free. But this is my blush and bronzer drawer that we are going to start with. Um, first, I just kind of want to show some of my, um, kind of liquid cream um, products. So this is a Tristique bronzer. Um, it, it's kind of, it's nice. Um, it dries pretty quickly. So you kind of have to work really quickly with it. Um, it does have a brush on this side. Um, I've tried to use it a couple of times, but it does, it, it doesn't really blend out very well. So I do also have an infallible, uh, and obviously a lot darker color. Um, I use this to contour up underneath uh, my foundation and stuff like that. I really enjoyed watching Scott Barnes do like Tati's look with a like cream bronzer. So when I wanted to attempt to try to do this, I had bought this I don't know why I didn't get another stick one. There are some at the drugstore, but I decided to get with this and it does work well. So I continue to use it um, for that purpose. This is another Tristique product. All of my Tristique stuff I've gotten in Ipsy. Uh, this is a ultraviolet highlighter. So as you can tell, I mean, it definitely has like that white to purple pinky tint to it. It's really pretty. It feels really, really nice on the skin. It blends out very, very well, but it does pull off my foundation when I put it on. So I have to be very careful and when I put it on. So let's go ahead and jump into my bronzers. This is my K uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I guess it's KVD now. So obviously you can tell, oops, I don't want to blind you guys. You can tell I've used quite a bit of these products. I've hit pan on this. I've completely used that up. I do continue to use this. I really do enjoy these powders, but the reason why I was trying to project pan this uh, pretty much is because of just Kat Von D in general. Um, didn't really want to continue to support her, um, which I mean, it's nothing against her. She can have her own beliefs, but uh, I'm also, as a consumer, one of the great things about us is we can decide who we want to support and don't support. And I had decided not to support Kat Von D. I don't know now since she sat down, uh, stepped down, whether or not I will go to start supporting uh, KVD anymore. But as of right now, that's what we're using. So this is my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Matte Bronzer, which pretty much everybody has. This is one of my main ones that I use. Obviously, you can tell there's quite a bit of use on here. It's starting to get rid of the indention. So there's that one. Again, another staple in a lot of people's collection, the Butter Bronzer. This is just such a beautiful formula. This is probably the only bronzer I've actually used up um, before, and I repurchased it. That's how much I enjoy it. Another one, this is Kiko. This is their Ocean Fill Bronzer in Warm Honey. It's um, 01. It was just so pretty and the packaging kind of got to me. And this is a little bit cheaper than the Marc Jacobs one. And it kind of reminded me just how big the pan is. So I bought it. It's got a little bit of a weird smell, but I do enjoy using it. Uh, but I have to use it when I've got a lighter skin tone. Another one I have is the Becca Cosmetics. This is uh, Capri Coast. Now this is kind of a little bit interesting. Obviously you can tell it kind of has a sheen to it. It's very, very soft. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, but this is definitely something, this is different from most of my bronzers and I do really enjoy using it, but I do usually like to do it more in the summer when people are more with that glowy, not as matte. So this is Fenty Beauty in Shady Biz Sun Stalker. This is so freaking pretty. I just got it, so I cannot sit there and tell you exactly too much about the formula. Um, just from swatching it and stuff like that, it does seem like it has to be a buildable formula. 
that's not necessarily always a bad thing because bronzer is kind of one of those where it you go overboard it does not look pretty so I'm excited to try to use that this is Anastasia uh, powder bronzer and tawny obviously you can tell like this is kind of a dark bronzer for me so I kind of have to be a little bit careful when I use it I use it more because it's a little bit cooler, kind of like a reddish cool tone. So I usually try to use this more for contour. And again, I use it when I'm darker so I don't make myself look absolutely hideous. But I do like the formula on that. So next, which I'll just kind of start from here. This is one of my palettes that I have, my uh, Z palette. So this is, I can't remember what the name is, but this is a Nomad bronzer that I got in one of my Ipsy's. Very, very creamy, um, very, very smooth. A little bit on the orange side, but not anything too bad. Um, I'll go ahead and just jump into some of my others. I actually, these are all, most of these are color pop. So, or I say most of them. Three of them are ColourPop. So this is a highlighter and this is in Patted Down, which is really pretty. I mean, look at how freaking gorgeous that is. This is a little bit of a darker blush in Weird Doe. Such a cute little name. And this is actually a face powder um, and it's just in light. So I've got that. I've got an Ofra um, cosmetic one. I can't remember, I don't think this is in, maybe this is in Rodeo Drive. Um, but of course, Ofra is known for their highlighters. It's gorgeous. This is one of my peachy blushes that I've had for a really long time. This is a flower uh, pot by Flower Beauty, I think, and it's in the peach. And then this is another one. I'm not, This is from the uh, Ofra Madison Miller um, collection it fell out of the little thing so I went ahead and put it in here those other over there are just eyeshadows that I popped into here so since we kind of went through all of my bronzers let's jump into my blushes this is a Betty Boop cheek to cheek blush palette so this is a matte version. These are two shimmery ones. This one I would call more of a highlight just because of how light it is and how shimmery it is. This one is quite shimmery as well. It's got a gold tint to it, but I feel like that's a really, really good like cheek, like blush topper. So there's that. Here's Catrice uh, Go Wind Cheer uh, blush box. This is in glistening pink. So it's kind of like a light pink with some gold flex to it. Very, very pretty. Very much enjoy that. Here is probably one of my most favorite blushes. This is an Essence Satin Touch Blush. So this is also extremely affordable. It's so freaking pretty, guys. Um, it is like this, it's a little bit of a deeper color, but that is just, I mean, it's freaking gorgeous. This one is in 20 Satin Love. Feels great on the skin. I definitely recommend that. This is a J-Cat Love Struck Blusher Bronzer um, Blush. This is kind of a little bit more peachy, but it also has kind of some gold flecks into it. So it's one of those that you kind of have to build up a little bit, which is not necessarily a bad thing. There are some people who don't like really pigmented blushes. So this is Butter Blush. Um, this is again just like a nice kind of uh, light pink. It is in the Vintage Rouge. Uh, I do enjoy the uh, butter uh, formula, but probably out of all the ones like compared to highlighter, bronzer, blush, uh, this is probably my least favorite, but I still very much enjoy it. Oh my god, I forgot this one. Um, I've actually been using this quite a bit too, so that's kind of sad. This is the Gigi Gorgeous uh, bronzer, and it's in the Turnt and Extra, the Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo. So I really, really enjoy this. Um, to do, I do a little bit more contour with that, and then kind of just bronze up my face with that. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Back to blushes. This is a Dome, and this is in English Rose. Very pretty, um, haven't used it quite a bit. I got it in one of my boxes, so um, I will start to use that a little bit more. This is Flesh, 
And this is again, kind of a kind of pinky uh, gold. So I'd probably say if it was closest, it would be closest to this. This is a little bit deeper than this, but it's still got the like goldish shimmer to it. So there is that. Um, let's go to this palette since this does have a blush in it. So this is the Madison, obviously you can tell it's missing one. This is the Madison Miller Ofra. It's real dirty too, I'm so sorry guys. Um, it's got a highlighter, blush, and then of course the other highlighter. Really, really nice formula. It just made me kind of sad that this popped out, but thank God it didn't, it's not such a soft formula that it like shattered when it popped out. So lucky for that. Um, I'll do a couple more of my palettes. This is a Huda um, 3D highlighter palette. So this has got a cream. So basically you put down as a base and then you can top it with these. Um, I like it uh, if, unless I like top everything. Cause sometimes, especially when you're busy, like you don't want to have to have extra steps in your uh, routine. And some of these don't necessarily give me the full on glow that I want it to. So I do want to start reaching for it a little bit more because it's not that I don't enjoy it, but I do tend to reach for other things. Here, I just got this. This is a Rach Loves by Pixi. This is such a cute palette. This is basically, you've got your two um, bottom shades and then you can top them with these shades. Um, unlike the Huda, all of these shades work really, really well by themselves. And surprisingly, even though Knit is super dark, I can actually, if I pair this with like Clutch, I can actually use it as well. So it's such a cute palette and I love it. And it, it's, I'm really, really enjoying that. So thank you, Rach, for, for making that for us. Uh, this is a ColourPop uh, Super Shock. Um, I don't have the sticker on the back, but I know it's Flexitarian. I have been working on this bad boy forever, obviously, you can tell. Surprisingly, it's still creamy. It does flake a little bit more. I don't think I'll ever purchase it again, just because it is a little bit, again, more on the glittery side. I would like something that looks probably a little bit more wet, just because that's what I've been leaning towards more um, these days. But it still looks really good. Uh, highlighter and this formula is amazing here is the flower beauty one i mean just look at how freaking gorgeous all of these are and they're so soft and again it's a freaking drugstore formula i mean it's absolutely ridiculous how freaking gorgeous these things are i mean they just mm. Cannot say enough about this. This is such a good buy um, if you guys want something that's a little bit on the cheaper side but performs absolutely amazing. Purchase this. So we're going to scooch these to the side. So I've got two Master Chrome uh, by Maybelline. So this one doesn't have the patterning that it used to have because it uh, shattered on me, but I was able to repress it and the formula still works really, really well. So I got the really, really cold one. And then I got, of course, the pinky one. So both work very, very beautifully, love it. Here is the Physician Formula Butter Highlighter. This one surprisingly says it's in champagne, but you cannot sit there and tell me that it is champagne. That's gold. That's a gold highlighter. Still beautiful, absolutely creamy as all freaking get out, but that's not champagne. Anywho, here is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. This is a very, very interesting formula. It's so freaking soft. And as you can kind of see, it's really, really glittery. So we've got that, and then of course we've got um, the blush topper, which surprisingly I actually quite enjoy on top of a matte blush. So hold on one second guys, let me readjust you. So this is the Natasha Denona. It's a really interesting formula. When you look at it, it looks super duper glittery and like almost like it would be chunky, but it is so soft, you guys. And I mean, look at that. It like it basically makes it look almost kind of like, I don't even know. It's like, yes, it's more of like almost glittery chunks, but it doesn't feel chunky. I don't know how to explain it. This is kind of, I use more for like a blush topper. It is still very, very beautiful. I don't usually like shiny blushes, but that for some reason it just works well. This 
This is a J-Cat Beauty. Uh, it's a baked highlighter in Pink Goddess. This also looks, um, and maybe not so much in the uh, camera, but this looks like it would be chunky um, up front, but it's really not. It's not the softest thing ever, but it is still a really pretty highlighter, so I continue to use that. And of course, we've got the highlighting powder from Wet n Wild. I think this is like petal powder, something like that. Um, I do use this quite a bit. Obviously, you can see the indention of where the flower is. It's pretty much almost gone. This is always going to be such a freaking pretty highlighter. And it's Wet n Wild, which is probably the most affordable you can get in the drugstore. Now this is probably my most, my least favorite highlighter. This is a Champagne Champion from Sugar. I got it in one of the boxes. This is actually Champagne, by the way. So Physician's Formula, just letting you know. Uh, this is just a really soft highlighter um, from when I put it on my uh, skin. So like when you kind of blend it out, like I mean compared to all, everything else that is on my freaking arm. You can still see it. It's still pretty, but it's definitely a lot more subtle. So I do keep it just because uh, it being a little bit different on how much glow it gives you, uh, but it's definitely not my favorite. And then here is how many carrots from, again, Fenty Beauty. This actually reminds me a lot more, like this is more of a like white base. This is more like a kind of like champagne-y base, right? So let me wipe off my fingers. So you guys can kind of see. So I'm gonna, they're both, oh my God, super soft. So let's go ahead, we'll put it right here, right? And we'll just kind of compare them right there. And then somewhat clean finger right here. So freaking soft. Okay, so like you can still see the difference. Like this is more of a white, this is more like pinky gold, but it gives off the same kind of like glittery texture but is still so it's not chunky it's amazing i and i find it absolutely it just like blows my mind so that is my blush drawer and my blush my highlighter and my bronzer drawer so the next few that we are going to be getting into are pretty much my eyeshadow palettes and to tell you the truth, I don't really have like a huge like reason why the certain drawers are in the certain ways, but they are what it is. So let's go ahead and we're gonna boot scoot on down, okay? All right, you guys, I stopped it just for a second so I can scoot you on down so you can see, but we'll go with our next drawer. So this is kind of like my tiny palette drawer. So we're gonna start with NYX Ultimate Matte Shadows. I got this because I was, again, almost out of my modern renaissance and it has a lot of similar colors. Uh, so it's not my favorite. I was hoping the mattes would work a little bit better, but they're kind of, there's a lot of hit and misses. There's enough hits that I still do enjoy using this, but the shimmy, shimmers are nowhere close to the Anastasia formula and all that, but I do have that. Here's the Neon Huda Beauty one. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's very, very pretty, a little bit finicky, but I still really enjoy using these bright colors. Here's one that I've had for a really long time is the Tarte, Tarte Lit Tees. So very, very simple colors for a very, very simple like throw it together on. I do really, really enjoy this. So I will continue to use that. Uh, Violet Voss, I got this in one of the boxes. It's the Berry Burst. Cute little pans. It works really, really well, and I really, really enjoyed using this. Obviously, it's a little bit of a hot mess in there. I apologize for that, so I'm excited to continue to use that. I don't know what it is, but I have been enjoying greens, and this little quad is absolutely freaking amazing like this just kind of like brownish with like a little bit of a green uh, grayish undertone and this like olivey green with this like dark foresty green oh my god it's absolutely beautiful i really really love this and they worked so so well so this is uh i think this is actually called the yeah all of you um eyeshadow palette so this is my only thing i have for makeup geek but i am excited to try more 
Here's another Huda Beauty. Out of both of these, um, palettes. I do enjoy my neon a little bit better than this. These blues are a little bit harder to work with, but I do still enjoy the looks that I can come up with with this. So now here are some color pops. This is when I first started trying to get into some color and this is such a pretty palette. Again, still a little difficult to work with the colors but I really enjoy the looks that I get from this. So I'm excited to continue to play with colors and kind of work with this. Anyone who wants to start trying to be a little bit more creative, these are great palettes to, the monochromatic palettes to start using to start like expanding your horizon. So this one's the main squeeze. So this is more of a red. So absolutely uh, love all of that as well. Okay, so here is just a little single eyeshadow palette, in all fairness. Um, I know some of these are from a Too Faced Big Palette that I had. Some of these are from single shadows I got from boxes. Um, I think the rest of these are ColourPop ones. Yeah, so that's Let Me Explain. This is Hear Me Out. This one's Paradisco. And then this one I think is like Muscle Beach. Yeah, Muscle Beach. So just a little, you know, magnetic palette that I use. Here's Wonder Wondrous Rush. So not my favorite palette, uh, just because you only get two mattes and then you get like a really glittery formula and then kind of a shimmer. So I don't feel like I can do very much with this palette, but it's kind of one of those where I got it in my you know, box and so I just haven't had a chance to really play with it too much either. Another Physician's Formula Butter thing. I really, really enjoy like this part. I do enjoy some of these. I tried using this. This is a little bit chunky um, and it kind of, it doesn't perform as well as what I would want it to. Um, it's again, a little finicky. You kind of got to work with it, but the majority of this palette, I really, really enjoy and it feels absolutely fantastic. So I do like this palette and I think it's worth it um, from the drugstore. This is one that I got from another box. I really like the mattes in here. Um, shimmers are a little less uh, to die for, but the mattes work really, really well. And it's a little bit more of a cool tone palette as well. So here is Milani. This I just recently picked up and I tried and I really, really liked it. I did try at the one that really kind of caught my attention was Eden. I, that one's a little bit kind of like here, there, um, but everything else worked absolutely beautifully and they feel great. So, I mean, they're just super duper pretty. So I'm excited to try that one more. Here's another uh, Betty Boop eyeshadow palette. Really, really cute colors. Again, a little bit harder to work with. This is kind of one of those palettes that you have to try with a different palette, at least for me, because it only has one matte. So everything else is like a shimmer. So, but it's in really, really interesting. And again, a little bit more cool tone. So very, very pretty. This is one that I pop picked up right before I left Ulta at the line, you know, where they've got all the, you know, tiny minis. And I just love Juvia's formulas and this is a neutral one and I wanted to try more. So I picked this up and I really, really enjoy it. So this, in all fairness, I truthfully don't know why I still have this. It's, this is not a good palette, you guys. Like it's, it's really, really hard to work with that like this doesn't quite give the color yeah i mean see that like that doesn't really give the color payoff that you want this all right guys sorry about that my phone cut me off again um so basically just what i was saying it's just not a good palette i don't think you can buy it anymore it was part of their like jade um like stone thing um so it's just not worth it. Um, I bought it because I was trying to start messing with some green eyeshadows and it's just, I've got other ones so that will probably be going away pretty soon. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. Um, these are absolutely freaking gorgeous. I just love 
the way that these colors look. I mean, they're kind of like the army camo, which I think actually it's cadet. Yeah. So, um, just so freaking beauty, uh, beauty, beautiful. I am excited to uh, start using it. Not my favorite formula, but I do love the colors and it does, it still does work well. Alrighty guys. So obviously another, uh, long video. Um, I did kind of cut it abruptly short cause I did film the rest of my eyeshadow palettes and then I realized how long it was going to be and I'm not going to make you guys sit through a 40 minute video. I'm just not going to do that. So um, I'm going to be splitting that into another part in itself and then um, I'll split, I'll have another part where I just do like lip products, eye pencils, brow products, stuff like that, which that should be hopefully um, a little bit shorter. So as of right now, that is all for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit a like button. Um, if you want to see more from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.